Hi, is this Jack? Yes. Hi, Jack. Matt Holmes with Fish and Game. How are you? I'm good, man. Yourself? Good, thanks. I uh, I saw I missed a call from either you or Betty uh, about an hour and a half ago, so I was just trying you back. Yeah, there was a bear last night. Ah, just thinking aloud here, I've got a little time. I'm in Jefferson right now. I could come out and see if we could figure out a way to uh, keep those traps set, but bear-proof them a little bit. And if you want to stop by, I'll, I'll be around here. Thank you. OK, yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I just took a call uh, from a uh, Lancaster resident that I've been working with, uh, who I'm trying to help uh, catch some raccoons that are living under his porch. He discovered uh, through a little walking around today that uh, the traps had been sprung. Uh, they were set last night trying to catch these raccoons. And evidence on the ground uh, indicates that uh, it was a bear that got into the traps instead of a raccoon. I don't think it did any damage, but it uh, stole the bait and batted the traps around a little bit. So I'm gonna head out to a residence and uh, see if we can figure out a way to kind of bear-proof a traps so that we're uh, just after uh, what we want to catch and not the bear. Hello. All right. So you found evidence that it was indeed a bear. So. Oh, yeah, there's some fishies over here. OK. Betty, Betty made a loop around, but she missed yep, it. Yep, sure. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what we can do to uh, bear-proof these a little bit. Okay. Um, and uh, I've got uh, one idea. I have a uh, portable electric fence that I could set up. <laughs> that we could put around the traps, which would allow the raccoons to go underneath, yep. hopefully keep the bear out. Okay. So, and we can have that set up in literally 10 minutes. And okay. let me get my stuff, Jack. I'll be right back. The issue here is that the raccoons are uh, digging in the insulation underneath the porch. They're causing uh, some destruction uh, to the underside of the house. So I'm hoping that I can remove the raccoons quickly uh, and also educate the bear by uh, allowing it to uh, sniff around the electric fence I've set up, possibly get a minor non-dangerous shock, and thus be educated in the fact that being around people is not a good thing. <laughs> Son of a gun. That sucker works. Yeah, I know. If you can't laugh at that, you can't laugh at anything. There's a, a, a just a wire tab right here, Jack. OK. And that's connected to the, uh, the, the trigger plate. And basically, I just make that as hair trigger as I believe it'll stay up. And then, um, you know, I'd get the bait in the back, uh, in the back beyond the pan. And, right, yep. And hopefully, we'll be good, so. I've uh, set the bottom strand of my fencing about 10 inches off the ground. My thought is that with juvenile raccoons, 10 inches off the ground should allow them plenty of room to pass underneath, but also ensure that the bear cannot get underneath the fence without touching it. The fence is throwing good juice. That's going to whack that bear and, and let him know that it's going to hurt if he tries to get in there. and. Uh, um, preclude him from messing with the traps, because if the traps are doing what they should, where they should, they'll give those raccoons ample opportunity to get in there and get caught. I'm very optimistic. Awesome. So now it's just a waiting game, and uh, I'm hoping that overnight the raccoons are going to become active, and uh, we're going to have uh, several caught by morning. This morning, I got a call from uh, the residents in Lancaster that have been trying to help catch a raccoon. The raccoon's been caught, which is a good thing, and they've already got the raccoon uh, out of the sun into a uh, secured location where it can be cool until I can pick it up and get it released in a better spot. As raccoons are a primary carrier of rabies, officers prefer to relocate nuisance animals to uninhabited areas in order to prevent the transmission of the disease to humans.
we want. Homeowners did a great job following directions. They were able to cover the trap. The raccoon is nice and uh, calm at this point, uh, really in a great uh, position to be transported to a new location. I was headed down into the Fort Hill Wildlife Management Area, which is a uh, piece of uh, farmland that the state has acquired, and it's gonna provide perfect habitat for this raccoon. All right. Sometimes it takes him a minute, but there he goes. Perfect spot right along the Connecticut River and some agricultural ground. Good place for him to be.